Hey, what is going on guys? It is your Film Dudes host here Noah, and in today's video, we are going to be showcasing our picnic bench sled jump. Now, I'm going to explain a brief backstory behind this jump. So, it all started out with the picnic bench sitting right here in front of this ugly log and this ugly stump. We moved the bench over, but before we did anything with the bench, we actually thought it would be better to do something with this stump. So we made an epic jump, pristine, pristine surface, except it's uneven. So, it's more likely for you to go off one way and completely run yourself into the tree than actually go straight. Plus, it's harder to go down because there's no clear path. You can see you have to maneuver your way through these trees, which is the main reason why we switched to the picnic bench. Also, this stump is extremely high off the ground. If you were to actually successfully go off this jump, it would hurt a lot. So those are a few reasons why we abandoned this project and we went to the bench. Now I'm going to explain the magnificent process of making this jump. Okay, let's start from ground one. It all started with piling up snow, obviously, but it took a lot of time evening it out. Like we took the shovel and we just had to scrape it up to make it straight. Most of the time, we would just veer off to the right or the left, most of the time to the left. And I'll completely jack my knee on this bench. It was so bad. Like I have so many bruises. I cannot even tell you how many bruises I have on my leg right now from doing that. We even tried installing a wall along the path, but that worked very little and it, we, we would still go off either side and it just like would not work at all. Um, and there was a lot of just taking piles of snow and like fitting them into sections that needed them because it's very important to have a straight runway. So it was a very grueling process we did yesterday, just smoothing it out and making it rideable. Very, very difficult process. Now, of course you might be thinking, Noah, why are you making possibly the most dangerous backyard jump in the world? But it's not that bad. I gotta tell you guys, like maybe I got bruised up at all, but we figured out how to make it work. And it's literally all on how you position yourself on the sled. Now we're gonna have a little bit of a physics session here. What did not work and what made me go off the side and completely veer off course every single time was holding on to the handles. That might sound like the most ridiculous statement ever, but as a matter of fact, it plays a huge role in how straight your sled goes. Normally when you grab on the handles, you're kind of like pulling up a little bit. That puts a lot of weight on this back part of the sled and it makes it harder to control. What I found was extremely useful is if I get flat on my stomach, I'm not gonna go down yet, but like this. And then I just put my hands out like you can see and I was able to guide where the sled was taking me so that by the time I went off the jump straight, I was able to use my hands to kind of like guide myself off the picnic bench and into my landing. And if you do it that way, it's a lot safer. It's a lot more predictable. Another very important thing to look out for when you're going down is to not drag your feet. Pretty sure this carries into all sledding but it is particularly essential for this jump. When you drag your feet, of course it slows you down, but it makes it harder to control. If you don't have enough speed going off that thing, hate to break it to you, you're not gonna go anywhere. So, if you have spread eagle legs like this, you're most likely gonna go off the side. If you keep them straight and up, it's gonna work the best. And the one reason why I stopped doing spread eagle and all this like weird leg stuff, because I kept on hitting myself on this stump right here. It's hard to see, it's like a little blotch, but there was like this tiny little like limb looking thing sticking out of the ground and my knee would just go bam, bam, bam. Every single run in it was the most annoying thing in the world. I have so many bruises on my knee just from this. Oh, well, of course I padded it up and I made like an extra little lump here, but keep your feet straight and off the ground. Now it's time for some actual runs. We're gonna be filming from three different angles of me going down. And those are gonna be third person, first person, and third person front, which is down there by the front of the bench. So you can see what the impact is like 
and all the technical stuff. Oh, wish me luck. We got some pretty good footage going off of the jump and you probably saw on the first one the third person run I was using my hands a lot more because I felt myself veering off course it did kill a lot of the speed but sometimes those are the sacrifices you have to make to prevent injuries totally non-lethal totally not dangerous at all watching our picnic table sled jump video and please make sure to like and subscribe because it was very hard to make this and it was also very hard to film I did get pretty beat up and we got a few fail clips and that was always nice so I'll catch you guys in the next video and if you did enjoy this video please leave a like later Jabra!